Good afternoon. Welcome to CTV News Channel Youth Connect Edition. This is Joshua Show reporting for Todd Vander Hayden. Here's your COVID-19 update. Let me share my screen. Ontario is reporting today 131 new cases of COVID-19, as indicated by Ontario's Health Minister Christine Elliott on Twitter Friday. That raises Ontario's total to 41,179 cases. Three new deaths were, were recorded, raising the high to 2,796. On the political front, the ruling government has appointed Christian Freeland as the new finance minister, replacing Bill Morneau, who resigned on Monday, August 17. Christian Freeland is the first woman to take on this powerful role. She will retain her role as deputy prime minister, but hands over her responsibilities for relations with the province to Dominique LeBlanc. For the Conservative Party, the election of their new leader will be held this weekend. The winner of the race will be announced on Sunday. For sports news, the Toronto Raptors play, plays against the Brooklyn Nets today at 1.30 Eastern Time in Orlando, Florida. For our weather forecast, it is going to be hot this weekend. Saturday would be a high of 29 but feels like 36 and a low of 20. On Sunday, there will be a risk of thunderstorms and we'll have a high of 30 feels like 36 and a low of 20. That's it for the news. Let me now turn you over to Aiden. Good political news. You know, I myself am, don't know uh, political news that well because, but it's, but it's very important that we discuss about it and learn about it as a group. So thank you very much. Now, to get back on track, I bet some of you guys have heard of one of the most famous games being free and being one of the, one of the best um, worldwide games called Fortnite. Um, but what happened is that, you know, for Epic Games is now currently suing Google and Apple over App Store bans. So let me get into it a bit more. Um, Fortnite maker Epic Games is taking legal action against Google after being banned from the Google Play App Store hours after doing the same with Apple. Apple and Google both removed the hit game from their app store after Epic Games bypassed their payment system to avoid giving them a cut in of sales. Very sneaky. Both platforms usually take a standard of 30% of purchases on their app store. So Google said that it runs an open, and I say quotes, open system that would work to bring Fortnite back to its original app, uh, sorry, official app store. On Android phones, app stores other than Google Play are available, so it is still possible to install Fortnite from Epic Games' own launcher app and the Samsung Galaxy App Store, making it less restrictive from uh, than Apple systems. So I'm just going to quickly, just going to say, uh, you're probably wondering what happened. So in Fortnite's latest update, they offered all players a 20% discount on its in-game currency, V-Bucks but only if they paid at Epic Games directly rather than using Apple or Google's payment systems. Now, this broke rule. Now, but you're wondering, what is these court documents and what are the, and what is the court case? What happened is that there's documents available through the U.S. court record systems, and it shows that Epic Games has filed a complaint against Google in a California co um, court, just as it did against Apple. I hope that you know, Fortnite, you know, resolves the, re the conflict that they're currently having right now because, you know, Fortnite's a very good game. Now, I'm going to stop right now, and I'm going to quickly go over to Kevin. Folks, as you already know, Entertainment News. So, this Entertainment International has a lot of events moving online. So, we've got virtual Emmys starting off September 20th, and we've got a socially distant concert is this a future for music lovers? The UK's first socially distant outdoor concert was held at a Virgin Money Unity Arena in Gosford Park, Newcastle on August 11th. So now we move to Entertainment Canada. We've got Robert, Roberta uh, Bataglia, 10-year-old Canadian dazzles on America's Got Talent. And now we got Cineplex and Incorporated says all of his theaters and entertainment venues will be open later this week. That is great. Set up five movies in August 2020. We've got the Project Power starts on with a percent of 61. And we got Sputnik, 
The test collector, 18%. The one and only Ivan, which is uh, 69%. And we got a bird support at 78%. So we got upcoming release, which is SpongeBob on the run. Now we're running at the cinemas. And we got a new mutants release at 20th of August, which is next week. And we got Mud Woman 1984 in theaters at October 2nd. Got uh, top five songs in 2020, which is the Blinding Lights, The Weekend, Life Is Good, featured Drake, The Future, or Don't Start Now, featured uh, Dua Lipa, Godzilla, featured Juice World with Eminem, and got Roses by St. John. The end of our project. So here's me, Kevin, signing out. Now it goes back to you, Aiden. Good job, Kevin. Those Welcome. Very proud. Anyways, um, Mr. Magic, do you mind if you change my image? Yes. So, <clears throat> I bet you're wondering. You know, I was talking about all these free-for-all games and how, you know, they're all like, you know, top, you know, free and everyone's like, whoa, this is so cool. But have you guys ever heard of the brand new hit game, Fall Guys? Now, if you find yourself screaming some combinations of, combination of these words, or, you know, seeing dozens of colorful beans bumping into each other and grabbing onto each other has expectantly taken the gaming world by storm. Fall Guys has sold over 2 million copies since it was released on August the 4th. And if you're wondering, what is this Fall Guys? So, the concept is simple. 60 colorful little beans with arms and legs stuffed into costumes are dropped into a series of levels designed to eliminate a swath of players each round until a single player grabs the crown and wins. The goal of, in all of these games is to witness the bizarre random nature of your character flailing around, getting flung through the air, bonked on their head, or missing a jump and falling flat on their face. So much of the fun comes from the ways the, get the game systems interact causing surprising results. And the crazy thing is, is that you can customize your character to the way that you feel that you want it to be. It could be a chicken, it could be a pineapple, it could be a bunch of fries. The, end, the possibilities are endless. And if you're bored with the games you have, make sure to try out or, or at least look for Fall Guys. And another thing, it's completely free. So now we're I'm I'm done with my one. So I'm gonna quickly go to Anthony for his. Before, before we, oh, oh, we got another one. Okay. A voice is true, it's open arms, we welcome you. A heart's a home, a friendship too. With peace and love, we welcome you. Bom ga da pia, ashe, ashe. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Awesome. That was a wonderful performance. Um, I'm I'm very proud. Again, oh my goodness! I love how you use funga. You know, it, it, we just did drumming, so using funga is a very good song. You know, especially how you sang it. It made my heart. So, we we did our news. We learned about a bit of stuff. Now, I just want to quickly go back to my co-hosts. I'm going to do one at a time. So, Joshua, do you have any final, final things about the news that you want to share? Right now, um, I am keeping an eye on the score of the Toronto Raptors. And how is it going? Pretty good. We're now 13 to 5. That is really good. That's a really good score. As soon as the Nintendo Direct has finished, because remember, it might be this week. When we have our next one, I'll make sure to tell about all of the new news that has happened for the Nintendo Direct. For more songs, more entertainment, and more news, this has been the first week of Youth Connect, and I hope that you guys really enjoyed the show. Bye, guys.
See ya. Bye, co host. Bye, Joshua. Bye, Anthony. Bye, bye. Kevin. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Bye-bye. Bye guys, Bye. great work. Enjoy. Great job, guys. Bye guys. Great, Bye. Great work. Bye. 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 Bye.